welcome to another week of the ladies' room from the womb of Herman's Hideaway, live on Broadway from Denver. This is the ladies' room, and you're invited in. Our Thanksgiving show, it's a two-parter with Raquel and Justin, because last week we had them here as well, and our fee as usual. Fee, how are you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? And Raquel Marisa, but, but wait, let me do it like you do. I'm going to try to do it like her. Raquel Maria Salcedo. Raquel Maria Salcedo. Oh, you did it slower you. this time. Raquel yeah. Maria Salcedo. Yeah. Thank you for being here. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank Justin you Jones, the drummer from Swami Band. Hello. And our brains behind the glass, Liz. Hey, everyone. <laughs> As per usual, she's like, yeah, just move on. <laughs> we have so much for this show. It's going to be so exciting because it's the week of Thanksgiving. We're so happy. Introducing, we're all sparkly, introducing the holidays season. We're going to show you how to work off that turkey. I, I didn't get the sparkle memo. She didn't get the memo. Me she's been sick. She didn't get the memo. Well, as long as we're all like Rebel. Raiders colors. I would never have wanted the hashtag to, to be in sparkles, but you know what? Whatever you want, you do you better than anyone, Justin. So sparkles next time, eh? Thank you. Maybe. We'll have you on for maybe New Year's Eve, and you can wear sparkles. <laughs> sparkles! Hashtag. Master dating. S- master dating. That's as we favorite. talked about last week, that was awesome. So our hashtag, let me explain really quick Best for everybody. Best. Our hashtag, One Lucky Guy Colorado, is here to give us insight and input from the testosterone level. But if he talks too much or gives input that, you know, we don't want to hear then liz gets to say hey shut the fuck up <laughs> and he has to shut the fuck up i'm so glad we're all on the same page <laughs> That's well so as long exciting. as you know your place everyone knows their place what's your place <laughs> our place is just to kind of hang out my place is being awesome i mean i don't know if we've met i'm Fezus. oh my god i thought your name was awesome this is Fezus. she's awesome <laughs> and first of all we have some pictures because we went to the wine festival the International Wine Festival that was held in Denver this year, we went to that. We learned a lot about wine. So our first thing is about wine because the holidays are coming up and we want, I mean, people want to know, what do you eat with, what do you drink with turkey? What do you drink with steak? What do you, what do you just drink with pizza? What do you drink with Dr. Phil when you're watching that son of a I was like, gun. let's hope you're not eating Dr. Phil. No. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. No, I mean like sitting in front of the TV. I don't know. What do you drink at noon? What do you drink at 11 a.m.? I don't know. Liz, do you have those up? Bed Should wine. we run those? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm running them right now while you're talking. Oh, she's running them while I'm talking. So Fee and I and our, our producer slash, uh, uh, what, do you, what, what, do, what, what do we call uh, What's that called? Personal safety guy. What's that? Bodyguard. Yeah. I'm sorry. My thing That's just went snap. <laughs> anyway, he does he does more than anyone can even. He has too many titles. I can't even tell you how many hats. But he was there t- filming us, and uh, we found really some really great wines. And there was I I can't remember all of them. We talked about them on Counterculture on the radio station. So anyway, this segment's going to be just between friends. Is going to be about wine, and with the holidays coming up, especially we have a, we have an expert from Spain, and Spain has some amazing ones. Yeah, and do. you're from the north of Spain, you said, yeah? Uh-huh, that's do, correct. Is and that where the wine comes from? Yes, but actually we have the biggest wineries in the world, as oh. you're saying, it's in Castilla y León, and uh, it's one of the most famous, <laughs> and it's called the Ribera del Duero. Okay, I'm sorry, that this, uh, uh, wine, this, uh, this ir- irony is not lost to me that she's <laughs> slugging a gigantic Pabst. I'm all about While wine. we're talking about the, the most wine. famous wineries <laughs> in the world. Okay, I, I'm just I, saying I this is... No, 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 no. Carry, carry on. Me. Carry on. <laughs> so, cause you're from Castilla? Castilla y León. Castilla y León. Yeah. Castilla y León. Okay. Um, so, we do have the Ribera del Duero, which is the name of the wine. Um, we do have so many and so much variety. Wait, say that slower. The name of the wine is? Um, it's actually the river name. It's called, ah. the, it's called the Duero. So, that's what it's called, the Ribera del Duero. Ribera del Duero. And I do find a lot say of... that five times the, fast, hashtag. <laughs> I don't think so. 
Did you just say shut the fuck up? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe he did in his head. <laughs> okay. And you can find the Narsale here in Colorado. So because we sell a lot of our wine here. Really? Uh-huh. Are they expensive wines? Or um, what? You know, of course, we're more expensive than in my country will be, you know. Because we have a big tradition of drinking wine. You grow up drinking wine with soda, with Coke. <laughs> yeah. Really? That's how I grew up huh. getting... Wait, so yeah. every day or like family gatherings or every what? day like at lunchtime at every school every day yes. in your school oh, they have, please they have like yes. a dispenser like a little cup like you got constantly drinking wine my grandma said that that's the key of being young well, uh, looking I love that there that's you go I didn't drink wine at all <laughs> Well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to that from now on. But I'm thinking of the short tour at Coors, like a lunchtime scenario, you think? You think maybe the kids go up and go, with their Dixie cup? No. Um, well, no? Mm, we didn't get that <laughs> no? far yet. We didn't get that far yet. Um, we we started at 12. So. Oh. So it's, it's, oh, well, okay, so middle yeah. school. Oh, here we go. Oh, high schools. <laughs> it helps the learning, folks. I'm just going to say. Totally. It makes you be so awake. That <laughs> <laughs> because you're drinking it with, you know, with your Coca-Cola. So You mix them? Oh, yes. No. That's how I grew up, uh, drinking the soda with the wine. You mix them? Oh, it's delicious. You can drink nonstop. Because it tastes <laughs> so delicious. It's just... <laughs> Unstoppable. I, I feel like this is blasphemy. Unstoppable. <laughs> like this is wine blasphemy. <laughs> this is wine blasphemy. No, I, don't, I don't even know what to we say. Swim on the, they, they live. They swim, swim in the wine. Delicious. It's not even <laughs> to them. It's like no. Like, swim in the wine, but don't put it in coke. Oh <laughs> my God! How no? Why not? It's delicious. I promise. No. It's like to us. It's like we put ice in it. They put wine in it. Yeah, because their wine's cal- there all the time. Cal- you put ice in wine? No, What's ice. We put ice in our Coca Cola. They put wine in their Coca Cola. We put oh. actually ice, wine, and Coke. Delicious. The Way to throw Coca-Cola. my metaphor under the bus. No big deal. I promise. I'm all for it. You're welcome. It's called Calimocho. Nice. It's, you guys there's know. a name. Yes. Calimocho. Calimocho. When you go, mucho, mucho calimocho. Calimo- I'm mildly appalled. <laughs> <laughs> what well, tell us why? I'm not about this life. Why? Because I got no respect for that wine. Just throw it everywhere, will you? No, know? but but if you're yeah. growing up with it and it's no, in it's your like, backyard, I, I, I get it. I get it. I'm just not about that life. Because we take advantage of, we take for granted the mountains. People come here from all over for the mountains. People come from all over for their wine, <laughs> right? Well, they come right? All, they all they come all, all over to to the mountains to drink <laughs> smoke weed. So why not? Well, they should. It's legal. I'm just gonna say, Buenos Aires, Brazil. We're very big in Brazil. I don't know why. But come to Colorado and smoke some dope, and maybe we'll have a Spanish wine. And God bless you. What's going on over here? I'm dying. This is interesting. I'm not going to make it. She's not oh. well. No, she's well. She's just a little. She needs some weed. She needs some weed. Wee 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 wee. Where's yeah. Chris? Where's hello? Last no. uh. Knock knock. Thank you. So what is what is your favorite one that comes out of? What's like the highest end that comes out of Spain, and it's what's the lowest the end? Vega Sicilia. Big ass Tatilia. Big ass Tatilia is the most famous wine, the big most famous winery. Big ass. Big ass Tatilia. That's the Seriously, name. Seriously, big ass. Big ass Tatilia. Big ass Tatilia. No, big ass Tatilia. I swear to God, she's saying big ass. Am I wrong? Big ass. No. You're not wrong. Yeah, right. It's Bia, Bia and Victoria and Edward and. Yes, and David. B da B E G A B E G B K B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B G A B Oh, no, red, white. red, never white. Red always. Uh, red, why is that? Why? Tell me why. Because it doesn't miss, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's the perfect example. So this one, this is Biga de Tilia. Uh huh. I'm gonna the, slur it because I'm not gonna say that again. Wines so how much country. would we buy a bottle of that for? And what oh, year is the best? Do you know the the years? Um, Seventy six. They used to be the best, one of the best years, um, but definitely. All of them is they are so good. Really, so so good. And how, what's the price range there if we find them Oof. here? Gonna start hundred, hundred fifty. Oh, it can be even going by to two thousand. Uh, twenty. Can we get one for twenty? And I don't think so. If it falls off a truck, can we get it for twenty? Uh, maybe like with a the few zeros behind it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Call quote unquote, falls off a truck. If we know a rep, yeah. and it happens to fall off a truck, what it then? My, do you the favor? You know what I'm talking about with the ice. 
No, no ice. No. Okay, wait, we're going to come back to wine in a second. This big ass tatilia. No, big ass tatilia. Yep. Big ass tatilia. <laughs> you did it right. Big ass tatilia. I know, right? I don't know why that just happened. I am speechless. I know. <laughs> Me too. I don't even know what We're going to go back to wine in just a minute. You're watching the Ladies Room on World Viral TV from Herman's Hideaway live on Broadway from Denver. Don't go anywhere. Hey, I'm Macy Slade. Yo, I'm Edsel from the band Dope. Edsel Dope, you're watching World Viral TV. Turn it up. There you go. Hacker Accent is our weekly segment where we play submitted songs and decide if the songs are appropriate for our station. We really want your submissions because it'll go on our compilation album. The Denver scene is fucking badass and we want to be able to represent you and everybody through the nation. This is what happens when we like your music. We're going to hack it. the space effects. <laughs> Okay, I kind of, I like it. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah. I mean, it's totally different than anything we usually play. It's kind of a nice game. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the songs are just not appropriate for the show. It gets axed. I was walking Whoa. That's not what I was expecting. That's not at all. Bright sky, but I looked down to the faint light beneath the trees <laughs> <laughs> so if you want your song to be on our station submit it to tim at worldviral.tv or chad at worldviral.tv hack it or axe it send in your submissions <laughs> world viral Okay, so you can get recreational marijuana for fun, but some people need the medical benefits of cannabis. Know someone that needs a medical card? You can save money by simply seeing the right affordable medical marijuana doctors. Herbal Health Systems. You can book an appointment online at herbalhealthsystems.com or call 303-237-1223. Herbal Health Systems. Herbalhealthsystems.com. I want to sell every piece of you. I just love the way you move. That was the first time there. Huh? Hey, no, welcome back to, uh, uh, where are we? The ladies' room. Hey. Uh, we're talking about wine because it's the holiday season. This is our Thanksgiving week show. And we're here with Raquel, Fee, me, Justin, and Liz, our brains behind the glass. And uh, Raquel was just telling me this wine that we talked about in the last segment can be like 2,000. I said 100, 150, thinking that was a lot. 2,000? How much, when, you, when you're in Spain, how much is it? Um, obviously, when I'm talking about that amount of money, is for, Coke. because for uh, ma, yeah, they don't share. They don't put that in Coca Cola, do they? No, ah, way. no way, no way. No way. It commits a crime. It's just a crime. I, I would imagine. Straight. That's what I was crime. trying to say. Because that wine is just, you know, and of course, I'm talking about a reserva. Something is, you know, very special bottle, or you know, that, that is very unique. That's the type of amount. That so, happens. how much? Uh, if you were to buy that. Like a middle range year of that wine in Spain, what would that go for? Yeah, probably, you know, we're probably talking about 300, 300 yeah, for a bottle. But of course, <laughs> you're buying some delicious delicatessen, you know, it's like a good Isn't mat. It? Yes, so you don't, you don't drink that it. with pizza. Oh, um, no, maybe just, if just you want to, why not? Just quality, <laughs> just Coke. quality over quantity. That's what I say. 
Oh, that's yeah, what I no, think. I could, I could well, it tends on. to be the quality is much better anyways. You don't need as much. Well, not only that, it, if you're drinking it for need, for a high, that's different. It's like the flavor, like, yeah. It's exactly. because every sip is just so delicious. That yeah, so I've it. had wines. It's yeah, that's yeah. a treat. That is a treat. So, what is the lowest one? Do you think? With a, I don't want you to throw anyone under the bus, but what's like a day to day wine? The day by day one. The one you mix $2. with Coca Cola. Two dollars. Two buck chuck. Oh, so lo- Do you have two buck chuck? The two dollars. <laughs> it is delicious too. Uh, the two dollars. Yeah, it comes in the no. tetra brick. Stop. Don't mention that. Uh, you know why? Because you let it sit here so long. She's got something floating in her drink. Oh, bugs love my drinks. And I love this weather. And Colorado right now is so warm. It and tomorrow to is supposed to be even better. But it is so dry. I'm not going to complain. But right what, now, Mayor, wait. You, I, I want to hear because Mayor has experience with the wine in Colorado. She has a really Ooh. great experience. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's not here right now. I, I made a mistake. I'm Fee sorry. has Check Fee yourself. has some for your break experience. Yourself. With the wines in Colorado, because you had a really great experience, uh, yeah. and I tried the wine that you suggested. It was like off the charts delicious. Yeah, Hermosa Vineyards. And what was that year? That oh wait, two thousand eight, two thousand eight. You guys aren't gonna find it anymore though. No, it's gone. It's gone. My, mighty fine. It was, it's this very small batch of vineyard, right? Who's that? You tell us about that. Yeah, um, it's in Palisade, Colorado, uh, right, right outside Grand Junction. Um, yeah, my favorite one there. There's a ton of wineries, a ton of vineyards, like out there. But and peaches. My, yeah, peaches too. Lots of oh, yeah. lots of jam, if you will, for toast. Jam. Yeah, they peaches. They made peaches. The peaches, Mama. Catch up. I didn't know they made peach jam. I'm sorry. I'm off the back on that. I'm yeah. sorry. That's news. And they make all kinds of jams. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, they peach they and got, habanero. They got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, actually, Probably. I love that. It's peach delicious. Jam. Yeah, but um. Yeah, no, my favorite one is Hermosa Vineyards, definitely. Uh, Kenneth is the guy that, that owns slash runs slash operates it. He does everything. And doesn't he no, have like not a everything, everything bread and breakfast everything. kind of thing? No, he doesn't. Um, oh. I just stayed with him because he's my friend. Oh, I thought, it, okay. But uh, <laughs> now, now, since we've tried his wine and got addicted... He's a good peddler. Um, <laughs> but wine pusher. Wine, we need a new word for that, Justin. Pusher, but no, it's delicious. Pusher. You know, and he'll, he'll go pusher. and give you a piece of chocolate with this stuff, and he'll, you know, he just it's, he runs it out of his garage. So you basically you drive up to his personal house where his winery is out of his garage, and like he's got like a you know like a little bar and sets you up with all the tastings and well, I was, he does all the smashing, all of it in his garage, bottling everything. Yeah, he get, has a big crate and he just stomps on those grapes on his with his own feet. Just kidding, that doesn't really happen. Why not? Maybe, I don't it, know. It actually does happen in his garage. <laughs> pushes the stuff he needs down. Help. And, okay, all right. No, yeah, he'll, he'll give you a tour. He's, he walked us yeah, all around. No. It's not even that big. It's like, I don't know, it's like the size of the studio. Maybe. It's amazing because I, I had no idea that Colorado had nice wines and the, and you know it, because it's local like uh, your $300 bottle you know his is much cheaper here than if you wanted it in it's still, Spain some of them can be I mean they're not they're no, not yeah. like super expensive by any means but like I mean yeah there's there's some that the thing that I learned is that um, here in Colorado uh, for example um, I tried another ones that they are also like growing here and um, my surprise is that they bring the, um, the, um, the grape mm-hmm. from California some of the wineries mm-hmm. and I said what is that about? How you can call it Colorado wine? Right, they don't grow you it. Are, yeah, this just surprised mm-hmm. me. In my country, it's not. It's not uh, that is a faux pas in Spain. Mm-hmm. It has to be where where you grow the, yeah. the grape. That's where the name should be. So here, Colorado, and then the grape is from California. What? Yeah, yeah that's right. cheating. It's yeah, totally it's cheating. cheating. Yes, yeah. but, there's a lot of cheaters here. Yeah. They're oh, still they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's they they do they grow Shut some up, really Rico. good grapes yeah. there though. No, yeah, and, and over and, on the western slope, yeah. yeah, it's actually and they're different because surprising. because of the altitude and the and the dry weather and all that. So anyway, and the, that's our the wine other side of the divide but the grape is, is makes it different. It, oh, the uh, yeah, the, yeah. Is it yeah, west the of the other side of the divide? West of the divide. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, west of the, the divide is, is I'm sorry, is when here. you said other side, I had to think that about it. You made you know, me think. The other that, side being the western, never makes me happy. western slope. Western side. Yeah, well, the western slope of the divide. You could have said that. You had to make an argument out of it. <laughs> I wish you would catch up. <laughs> no, that's like your catchphrase every show. She's like, catch up, catch up, catch up. Where have you been? Um, under a rock, like apparently. Yeah, I don't like ketchup either. I never eat it. Anyway... We carried over that. Hashtags like conspicuously quiet. 
good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to say shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nobody had to say it. Nobody did. Um, but this 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 next segment is about uh, all the food and wine we're going to drink and eat over the holidays, starting mm. with this week with Thanksgiving and carrying on into Christmas and then New Year's. And then, of course, New Year's resolutions. We're not going to even worry about that now because that's stupid. But everybody's worried about gaining weight over the holidays, right? So we, I found this new workout thing that looks really super cool. So I think I have a video. It out. looks ridiculous. It yeah. looks fun. Stop it. it. Looks Stop. Ridiculous. Would you cut her mic? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can we play that really quick? Tell me shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nobody did. All right, all right, we're back. Liz, what did you think about that workout? That was really awesome. <laughs> Doesn't it look fun? It looks fun. They're all stretching and just, <laughs> ooh, yeah. It looks ridiculous. Anything else? <laughs> well, thank you for that observation. You're welcome. Have you seen the video? I have not. I thought I sent it to you. I saw the last one, but I didn't see it. Okay. I wish you would catch up, hashtag. Wow, he's way off the back. Sorry. <laughs> Well, that's okay. It's his job. Anyway, it's bungees, and the thing the thing that I like about it is that um, there's no. There, it looks like there's no impact. Like they're they're like leaning back and bouncing forward, and it just looks like fun. Yes, they moving with your bungee. You're moving with your bungee. Yeah. You're not jumping off bridges. No. You didn't see it either, did you? No. I wouldn't jump off a bridge with that. Not with my back. I lived it. <laughs> you lived it. Yeah, moving with bungees for sure. <laughs> we love bungees. <laughs> bungee humping. Bungee humping. That was last week's show. <laughs> it's okay though. That was last. Anyway, to catch you up, last week we had these new word things, and now we're still doing bungee humping. Part two. What was that? It carries on over. <laughs> the lost, the lost episode, two-parter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love Bungie. That's a Galaxy Quest. I know that was Galaxy Quest. Did you know that? I did not. Well, I wish you would catch up. He laughed anyway. It doesn't matter. So anyway, this new workout, the Bungie thing that you just saw, I think looks really cool. Mm -hmm. You've been doing a new workout. Do you guys work out at all? It's not a workout. Yes. 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 What is your workout? I play drums pretty much daily, and me and her work out. You do the, uh, it's not the, uh, I get it yes. thing. What's no, it's not master dating. It's oh, not master dating. God, no. It's the opposite of master dating. Good. Right. Mm -hmm. it's good. I get it. It's totally dating. It's totally dating. Totally dating. <laughs> totally dating. <laughs> to to I love her <laughs> emphasis on the syllables. <laughs> it's I totally go, We're dating. going straight to the bath gas. <laughs> to the, the bath gas. The bath gas. The bed gas. What was it called? The bed The gas. The bed <laughs> What was that Nate word again? Hey, Where's it? Bed Where is it? Bed no bed it was bed bed orgasm. Bedgasm. Bedgasm. Bed bed yes, bed bed like bed an gasm. orgasm for your bed. Straight to the bed gasm. Uh, bed gasm. <laughs> <laughs> She's from Spain. Cut her from slack. Um Jeez. So, but it's totally Chill out. Bed gasm. Totally, totally they go straight to the bed gasm. It's a total workout. It's totally dating. Totally workout. dating. Totally workout yep. from um, drums. Is by, by, do you by play drums too? I play drums. Where do you get your upper like. upper body workout? If you're, uh, mm, um, I just go I get the uh, I get the lower body workout yeah, part. Yeah. Upper body workout. He's got the he's got both going. Huh? Yeah. Aerobics. Yeah. Anything? No. No. Liz. No. Liz. Yes. Anything? Sorry, I do a little bit of weights and then I do like I'll walk and wog, and uh, I'll do yoga. Whoa, 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 whoa! Back up. You do the what? Wog. What? It's like a jog and a walk. What? I yeah. need a wakey wakey. <laughs> Wog? Wog. I think that's called that's speed walking. Speed walking. Kind of. That's good. Why is it kind of? What's the difference? I don't know. I call it wogging. <laughs> oh, all right. Then that's legit. You want to call it something else? You yeah. go, girl. We're all about new words here. Wogging. I'm going to wog tomorrow. 
Things are getting weird. I'm going to see how that feels. And then they're going to get weirder. And then they're going to get really weird. What about you? You work out? I do aerial stuff when aerial? I can afford it. Aerial. That's what does aerial mean? It's not exactly. It's like circus stuff. Circus? Yeah, like, you know, like that they do the fabrics and like it, you wrap yourself up on them and stuff and do the different things and you climb up ropes and stuff and oh, wow. spin around and do what things. What do you can do that? <laughs> there. Where? Yeah. Um, I go I go to a place, it's called a Cirque Over Denver, Aerial Cirque Over Denver. There's it's circles like a, here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, just, uh, it's like down south a little ways. Oh. But she can join the circus after this. You're damn right I'm aiming to join the circus. I could join the circus right now if I wanted to shovel elephant poo, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I might, actually. If you join the circus, I might follow um, you. Just saying. I just going to throw it out I've there. I've been trying to avoid the circus for years. Have you? Yes. It keeps creeping up on you like that? Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, she's like talking about the circus. Like, oh, my God, here's the circus uh, we're again. We're going to have so much fun. Oh, You're doomed. Damn. You're doomed. You guys are going to have so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, but you did the rings. So, anyway, they yeah, hoist you up painful. in the air. Right? Yeah. You're hoisted well, in the they air. They don't hoist you. You climb up. Even on the circles? No. No, the circles are just, they just dangle there. I mean, they would, ho if you were in an actual circus, yes, they would hoist you. Okay. But not, like... But you're in the air. Yeah. Even if it's three feet off, three inches, you're in the air. Three, three it's ring. like the ceiling. The three ring circus. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's like a... It's full of rings. All right. <laughs> Maybe... So tell tell me about tell us about that experience real quick because it was a bit, that was really a big workout for you like Cairo you got hurt oh yeah the rings did hurt they bruised the crap oh out my me. god it was <laughs> awesome not the kind that people have over their beds just throwing it out there no. go ahead no it's just like it's like a big old dangle in hula hoop dingle. and you like made out of like you know steel like I don't know it's it's like I don't know like these. So they're not, they're even, like, they're they're not even soft. They're not even. Oh God, no, no, they're super hard. Oh my God. So you like, I don't know. You have to like, you wrap your legs up and you, I don't know. There's like points where like you'll oh. you held on by you're like holding yourself by your ankles. And Do you have a net? No. A neck? Fish net? No, there's no nets. So there's a, there's like they'll put a oh, pad okay. underneath. Oh, because you're not you're not like 20 feet in the air. No, you're not. Okay, that high. sorry, Ed. A flash of <laughs> circus, but so when you're, but can you do like this? You, are you like doing the splits and stuff like that? Like, are you like how? Yeah, you just. I don't do know. Do you sweat when you're doing so like, like, like the, I don't know. Like if you if you did like the splits or whatever, like you'd be held on by like one leg here. So oh, why don't you go to sad yeah. dance, Willis? So like you'd be like upside <laughs> down, down, like ho held on by like your like leg, basically. I don't know. You just. Do they play? Do you do it like rhythmically, like to music? <laughs> Oh, like I'm just curious. I've never yeah, done when it. You, you can get to that. You get to that point for sure. Okay, so this it's is like when you you have to learn the skills first. It's like you gotta you gotta like Super do the cool. stuff first before you. It's like you you have to learn how to you know, walk do before a, you can run. Do a dance move before you yes. put it to a routine. You know? Oh, gotcha. So you, okay, so you gotta learn the basics. Okay, we're gonna go to a break right yeah. now. <laughs> we're gonna finish this up in a second and go to go on to another topic. But I want to hear more about the Base. basics. <laughs> Uh, don't go anywhere, it's getting weird And it's going to get weirder Here on the ladies room In the womb of Herman's Hideaway You're up, Welcome champ To World Viral up, champ. TV Hashtags have to be ready for anything mm. Thank you Yes, yeah, so Oh my god, really? <laughs> Honest to Pete That usually never happens I don't understand what's going anyway, on. Anyway, we were talking about the aerial stuff. You, you're not a fan of the rings as much, but no, I was... They're, they're cool. I they're thought fine, you liked they, it. Well, yeah, I like them. I like it all. It's just... <laughs> you like it's it all? It's just hard. It is hard. The, like, rings, are, the rings are rough. Hard. Like, they're... I don't know. Like, I ended up, like, I had bruises all I, in uh, my... All in my, but, you know... And how do you do the ring? I don't I don't get that. It's like, like you climb hoop. up on the... You know, it's oh, like a it's something wrong, like right? Climb, yeah, and then you, you know, you have to, like, swing your leg over, like, hang just from your leg and your, like, you know, arm here. Can I just make a point real quick? We've said rings how many times? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what she just said? It's something round, right? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I didn't know if they were, we were talking about the same point. Yeah. Because can no, be cool. rings in the circle just, can be called something different. Can be, exactly. You know, I just wanted to make sure no, you it's understood. Like double rings. It's a, it's a, like a, it's a ring. Hoop. Round. It's it, a hoop. It's <laughs> round. Not an octagon. Yeah, it's round. It's hoop, a ring. Like a hula hoop. A steel hula hoop dangling in the air. <laughs> Why is he there? She's the I first time she's. A, because Aerial. it hangs. Aerial. I mean, it's it's aerial. aerial. It makes uh, it more difficult. So bigger it goes workout. By it goes by itself. So that way, when they hoist you, when you're in the actual circus. But who throw it? 
<laughs> what? What? Who throws the ring? Nobody throws the ring. It's the rings are hanging it's not the a rafters. It's not a frisbee. Oh, yeah, That's what my yeah, point was. It's not I a frisbee. To make sense. It was a, no, big, it's a big hula hoop. You like, put like your body this. in. I was gonna go get it. Have you ever seen that ring? But sometimes, giant. Sometimes the lions will jump through the. She knows. I don't know because that's narrow. You know now. No, I do. Aerial air in the air. Anyway, the uh, here we go. I'm sorry, Mordred. Um, so, what do you prefer though? What's the biggest? What is the best no for you? Like you. the silks or the no bugs? No bugs for you. Bugs love my drinks. Apparently, yeah, they do. Because last time she had a glass of wine with me, she she was had a bug in it. I was like, there. I don't know what. And the then I had is. maggot wine that one. Oh night. God, yes. Oh. Yeah, that scarred me. Oh, okay, I'm still scarred. Bleh. Ah, anyway, that was not here. No, FYI. God, no. That no. was at uh, So seriously, though, the, the are they is the Call fabric out. that you climb on? The fabric you climb on is it really <laughs> silk? Um, I think so. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's like, not slippery. Well, you like, get no, it's slippery. You do do it proper, <laughs> chappy. You just got to do it right. Silks are slippery, but, but not hard. Uh, Rings are hard, no, but I like not the slippery. Silks. They're super pretty and they're all flowy <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> I just want to see it. That's all. The fabrics. I don't get it. Okay, we need know. to do a segment where we go and discover this and watch it, yeah. and I will okay, get you well, up on there the on the next break. Silks. I'll pull. I'll pull up videos, and you can. see Oh my what God! I'm you have video. About. It's the internet. Welcome to the modern age. Catch you know, up. Well, all I'm saying is we're doing a show, and uh, knowing that you had video might okay, be good. Well, Hashtag um, right. I don't have video of me. It's not of me. Oh, There's yeah, just like random videos online that you can Oh, find. random videos. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, anyway. So you can see So what that's I'm our workout about. segment. The bungee thing is the newest thing. The last thing was pole dancing. That didn't really take off. That only lasted like a few years. Yeah, that women did the pole a, dancing. Quite the fact. So now the new thing is the, the bungee pole thing. The dancing was a big thing. I think the I bungee's going to be bigger. Uh, it's no, still around. It's just, no. Yeah, just, just people move on. You get sick of working out the same thing. I spend 30 minutes of once a month. I don't know pole dancing goes out of style, though. See, I don't work out. I work. In, on, on getting into the circus. She's the point is to the move goal. your heart. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, your heart yeah. going. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Whether you're walking, talking, talking, I'm boning, sexing, avabong, texting, texting. Text, texting. texting. If that makes your heart go, I it's guess. Like sit and be fit. I don't think that well, sit and be, be fit. It's like silver sneakers for the young people. That's what millennials are calling it now. Silver sit sneakers? No, sit and be fit. Anyway. No, that was an actual thing. They sat. I know. But wasn't that for old people? No, it was for people who couldn't get up. Oh, people that do World of Warcraft all the time. Yeah. World of Warcraft. Pretty Um, much. Well, they can't turn their back on the world. Liz, don't we have a Swami video for our entertainment segment? We do. We do. Yeah. Because Justin is the drummer of Swami. Mm -hmm. This is the official, I think, video. Yeah? What song is this? Um, I think it's... uh, It's a song from Swami. We'll tell you later. What's that one? 